Hello. Hi. You know, I started on cleanup just like you guys. But now, see, I'm washing lettuce. Soon I'll be on fries, then the grill. A year or two, I make assistant manager. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. <laughs> yes, that was comedian Louis Anderson in his iconic role as Maurice and coming to uh, America. And he's here live with us today. I feel like we should all be lounging like Louis. Yeah, How are you? I feel like we look too stiff. Yeah, relax. Relax. I watched the whole show. It's fantastic. Don't you know you never tell a woman to relax, Louis? Well, uh, really? <laughs> Why is I that? I the same response, Lou. Yeah, you can, you can get away with it. Uh, you didn't find out until much later that you were actually cast as the, quote, token white guy in the 1988 film because the studio demanded it, and you didn't even have to audition. Did you end up having total creative control over your character, or is Maurice more of an Eddie Murphy creation? Give us all the deets. Well, I mean, I think it was a combination of who I was, and then he created the character, of course. But I never have known for 33 years that I was the token white guy. I had no idea. What did that make you like, feel that like? That was never talked or I felt great. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I, I like being the only white guy on there. Hey. I mean, I didn't look at it that way. I grew up in the projects. I've been around lots of uh, diverse people. and. You know, I didn't really think about it. We had so much fun. It was my first big part in anything. And um, everybody treated me so great. And I just love Eddie. He's one of the greatest actors. Arsenio, John Amos was there, Lisa. Everybody was there. I walked into that set like I walked into the set on Queens Avenue 33 years ago. The same people, the same smile. And it was just, everybody was so great again. Louie, I got to tell you, I got to slip this in. My parents think you're the greatest. They love you, and they loved you for years. But you think Eddie Murphy's the greatest. You said he's the greatest actor of all time. Why do you think that? And have you seen anything quirky that Eddie does to get into character? No, you know, he just pops in. He is there. I mean, it's crazy. But the reason I think that is because look how many movies Eddie's done. Look how much flack he's taken here and there. He's done movies all for a personal interest, whether it was for his kids or he wanted to get outside the box. Bowfinger, did you see uh, Mr. Church? That was a dramatic role that really Eddie should have got a, an Oscar nod for that. Dolomite. And no matter what, he sticks with it and he does his movies. And I mean, you know, Eddie Eddie's probably one of the most famous actors that I know in my era, that's for sure. Uh, well, Louis, this is uh, Al Jackson here. And before I get to my question, I just want to say, Louis, how you doing? I, I, want, I wanted to thank you very quickly. Uh, you put me on your Showtime special. It was my, uh, my first uh, cable syndicated uh, stand up. So I appreciate you for that. I never got a chance to thank you. With that said, brother. Oh, that's so great. I remember that special. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. You couldn't have got on it unless you were a great owl, so. He is. He's fantastic. Well, well thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, with that said, it's time to give you some props because I wanted to commend you personally on your weight loss. I know you've been really uh, trying really, really hard to kick the sugar habit, which is super hard, and drop some pounds. How have good you been jacket. able to look, look at you? Wow. Look at I you. some pounds. You're yeah. disappearing yeah. over there. How'd you do it through I, the pandemic? That's the hardest part. Um, I guess I turned off my uber eats <laughs> and that's smart i i tell you what i did as i did intermittent fasting you know one minute i would be eating another minute i wouldn't <laughs> um, but uh, all, all kidding aside um i took it very serious i got a trainer i worked out i swam you know this has been a lifelong struggle for me food addiction it's probably the one that people understand the least because, you know, you could quit drugs, you can quit alcohol, you can quit all the things that other people are addicted to, but you still have to eat food. So it's a very tricky, slippery slope. And, uh, but I've learned a lot and uh, feel good. And I'm no longer compulsively eating like I was. And that was the big thing for me.
We're so happy that you're talking about it because you definitely are uh, reaching so many people, so many viewers right now that are also struggling with food addiction. So thank you. And speaking of changing bodies, as Christine Baskets, you played a woman who was <laughs> based off of your own mother. Let's take a quick peek at what that looks like. Ta-da! Are these ours? Yes, mother. Oh, they're beautiful. I know. Danielle is going to want to see these. This is Bucky Boy, that's Lady, and that's Bucky Girl. Oh, well, can we change one to Esther for me, Ma? We change our names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Louie, I got to ask, what's your favorite thing about playing a woman? Well, first of all, I didn't realize how comfortable the clothes were. <laughs> the clothes are so much more comfortable. Man, you know, I'm tired of being lowered into my pants. And um, I wanna, I love the idea of wearing those outfits and uh, really feeling alive and uh, happy. And, you know, I just, I channeled my mom because I think she would have been so happy to play a part like that. And so I did an homage to her. I had so much fun. I really, you know, I felt like I was a woman I didn't feel like I was a man playing a woman. I felt like I was, I know that sounds ridiculous and crazy. I'll probably get a little flat, but no, I you're... felt like, you know, I have five sisters and my mom and I just go, I feel like, I feel like, you know, I learned a lot, first of all, about my mom, about being a woman and how I used to go out as Christine and people treated you different. They treat right. women different than they do men. And I was surprised by that. Well, not terribly surprised, but shocked a little yep very cool dbl nation for more of louis anderson do not miss his newest and hilarious stand-up special live with louis in las vegas on june 12th yes louis thank you so much for chatting with us for always being candid we appreciate you we'll be right back